It's the steel city with over 440 bridges, more than 300 steel-related businesses, and of course, our sports teams. Pittsburgh truly is a fan favorite. What people sometimes forget is our rich history. One man at yesterday's city council meeting wants to ensure we do not forget. His comments have sparked a big debate that caught the attention of both national and local news. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Like Edinburgh. Edinburgh, Pittsburgh. exactly. Pittsburgh. That's <laughs> difficult. A Scottish man thinks the way we're pronouncing Pittsburgh is wrong. This Pittsburgh is should wrong. not be pronounced Pittsburgh. It should be pronounced Pittsburgh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Robert Thompson made his case to Pittsburgh City Council on Wednesday. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. <laughs> he says people should pronounce the city with a Scottish tone. Pittsburgh. Did I get it? Am I doing it? Jill, is it that you at all You kind of sound like a leprechaun. I don't know. <laughs> no. CBS This Morning talked about Thompson's argument. The name, the pronunciation, is, is tied back to General John Forbes, who was a Scot yeah. and who wrote Pittsburgh in his early correspondence. Councilman Anthony Coghill, who also has Scottish ancestry, supported the debate. I say whatever way you like it. It's all about you. And local Pittsburghers are reacting to the comment. You know, everybody pronounces things differently, so I have never heard that, but I've been lifelong Pittsburgher, so I say Pittsburgh. I'm Italian. I want Pittsburgh. As a matter of fact, I want Pittsburghy. Yeah, Pittsburghio. It does not appear that an official change will happen anytime soon. Pittsburgh with a Scottish bro. <laughs> Pittsburgh. All right, good? Megan, let's hear it. Oh, with the I Scottish can't. Brogue. Oh, uh, Pittsburgh. That was pretty good. All I right. like Pittsburghio. What did she say? Pittsburghio, yes. It's on Italian.